Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you, uh, basically give you a walkthrough, uh, Toreg 2004 this is, everybody knows that already from my videos if you watch it, uh, the menu uh, in, on the instrument cluster, I've got a second version, I've got a second version of this um, screen right here, because uh, the first one is um, like just uh, red red uh, numbers which give you information in all the red not the tf whatever tft this is screen is uh, so i've got the second one and then there's a third one which i think is on r50 and uh, v10 models uh, where it has the bigger screen, where the screen goes on to those dials even. It's as wide as this. And these just merge into one, so basically it's like one big screen there. So that's the second version. Well, I've got this, so I'm going to show you what you expect if, if you're thinking of buying one. Okay, so I've got on here, you press uh, this, which is menu up or menu down. You press it once uh, because the radio is not on so it doesn't show the radio and then it gives you current consumption if you scroll with the wheel you'll see different variations keep scrolling current consumption yes and then if you press on the wheel it gives you more options so you can check whether uh, to see you know the information since you've started the car long term uh, which is going to be overall and then since refuel so it'll, it'll give you all the data all the data what range is uh, left how much you consumed and the distance you've done blah 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 every speed consumption but this will give you since the refuel because it feels uh, when you refu uh, ref refueling the car and then it starts the counting the data and the other one is long term which shows current consumption of course and then all the long term so this is since you've last reset it so this is all that okay so then you press the menu button again then it gives you uh, another menu for car settings which again using the scroll you scroll through them so the first one here is lights uh, you can have daytime lights if you want to so every time you start the car it would um, Ah, I need to change the light bulb. Thanks for reminding. So every time you start the car, the light would come on. You know, for Europe countries, I think the light needs to be always on or something. I can't remember. Anyway, so press this, which is back menu. And then you have a footlight. And you have a setting of it being from 10 to 100%. In my case, it is blue. I've changed it to blue. It looks very nice, especially at night, if you go on 100%. Okay, so now we press back, and then back again. Then you've got uh, speed warning, which is blah, blah, blah. You can set the speed warning so you don't and go over the speed limit in some areas which you don't know or something like that that's where I would use it then we could go back then the time setting the 12 or 24 hour blah 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 go back again comfort in comfort we find door opening so you can set if we go into it and go into it again you can get uh, a single door opens when you press the fob key or 
I'll just turn off this fan. You can get the single door opened or uh, one side opened or all open in my case. Because I want all the doors to open when I press the FOP key. Uh, okay, so that's that one. Go back. What have we got? Signal. Turn signal. Door opening signal. Oh yeah, it's um, more to American, I think. Uh, markets is where you press the key fob you know to set the alarm it uh, gives you uh, it gives you a signal like a car beep okay so we go back one again tailgates okay so that's again if you want all the doors unlocked and the tailgate so i've got everything um unlocking with the key fob uh, auto lock auto lock is when you start the car and start driving uh, it auto locks all the doors so for instance in traffic nobody can uh, run up to your car and um, steal something off your seat like some uh, uh, there were lots of accidents like that and um, auto unlock I have no idea what that is. I have never tried it. Auto unlock. Oh, auto unlock. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is uh, when you've got auto lock. So you start driving. And uh, your. No, I don't know what un auto unlock is. Sorry, read about this. Uh, not in this video. Okay, so we go. That's all the way down. We go up and then go back then you've got mirror setting mirror setting is either sync or not if it's sync that means whatever you do uh, with one mirror neat. the other one will mimic so if you go down with this one it means that one goes down as well if you go to side then this one will go to side uh, that's what the sink is. If you turn the sink off, then you set, then you uh, adjust the mirrors by choosing with this. There. Uh, but I've got it synced because sometimes you're just driving and you need a tiny bit of adjustment, and they both adjust. You don't need to go one and go with another. Okay, so we go back, and then the alarm. Uh, interior and angle so this is just basically you've got like a button here the that button so that button uh, if you engage the alarm and press that button is, is like a rocker switch so you can either have interior or angle uh, pressed on it so that means when you in uh, engage the alarm the whatever is happening in the interior will not set the alarm off and uh, the angle one is for uh, when you when your car is being towed uh, so if you engage that one so that means if your car is moving uh, it will not set the alarm off when it's being uh, not towed or whatever okay so we go back by one and we go back by another one. We've got comfort settings. Uh, we've done this one. Doors opening, yeah, comfort settings. Back. Comfort, okay. Language. I use English because they don't have my native language. Uh, units. You can either choose for it to be Celsius or Fahrenheit, or it could show you uh, how many liters per hundred kilometers you use, or you can use MPG. I've got it to MPG, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's clearer in liters rather than MPGs, because in England you fill up with liters, but you look at MPGs, which is uh, a bit nonsense, and you drive in miles. Okay, so we 
go back on this one then we got factory resets and that is it for this menu okay so then you go back and this is the cars uh, menu like again like I said long term since the start so it will show you since the start and since refuel very useful sometimes to look at how many miles you've done and and uh, what was your MPG and usually this one when you're running out of fuel uh, okay so that is that that's it for this video hope I helped and thanks for watching and subscribe and you'll give you more videos bye